You don't have to pay upwards of five to ten thousand dollars for a flight to truly enjoy yourself. It's really not about that. We're live. Oh, uh, are we? It's a YouTuber. <laughs> So this was actually a question that I got a lot from subscribers and those in my personal life. So I decided, let me show you what my Delta One in-flight experience was like traveling to Honolulu to let you know was the super expensive airfare really, truly worth it. So come travel with me. This was the first time I've ever been in Delta One. So I was really just admiring like, whew, just how nice it was. I got to take a tour of the cockpit, which was nice because I honestly haven't done this since I was a child. And once I was back in my seat, I had a choice of a mimosa or champagne and I chose a mimosa. Honestly, from the time we boarded, the in-flight experience started and it was nothing less than five star. Already excited, already the best experience ever. So these were a few of the things that I decided to bring with me, just my little comfort items. Shout out to the Delta Amenities Kit. We're live. Oh, are we? <laughs> <a YouTuber. laughs> I was highly, highly satisfied with this. I got to try some products that I've never heard of and also Grown Alchemist, which I have since grown to love. They also have Grown Alchemist products in the Delta Sky Lounge and they're amazing. And you can find all these items linked below. I had to apply my favorite Clarins lip oil because this just makes my lips feel so nice. Once again, just exploring the amenities, darling. I was highly, highly satisfied. One thing I have realized is not a lot of <laughs> us. Delta one. I don't know how I feel about that. So the total flight was a little more than 10 hours, you guys. This was my longest flight ever. And this is why my father gifted the entire family, everyone who traveled with us, this Delta One experience because that's always been my biggest con about a long haul flight. Like how do I get comfortable, especially as a plus size woman? Then we prepare for takeoff. Now the first thing I always do when I take off is pray. Everyone may not keep your flight covered, so make sure you keep yourself and all the other passengers covered. That's very important to me, just making sure God is with me every step of the way. And it was really just gratitude mainly because the fact that my entire family was able to take this vacation to Honolulu was just a dream come true. This in-flight experience was like the cherry on top. But in my vlog, I talk about how I just never thought I would ever travel to Hawaii. So much of my prayer was just gratitude to God, but also keeping us covered. And of course, I had to take advantage of <laughs> the 180 degree lay flat bed. This was one of my favorite features of the aircraft for sure.
So right after we got in the air and we were safe to move about the cabin, we were provided with fresh hot towels to cleanse our hands, which is something that they always do in business class or first class. Yes, your girl is thoroughly enjoying this movie. I promise you, if you've never seen Four Christmases, definitely check it out, it's so funny. Then it was time for me to get comfortable. I love that I was, <laughs> you guys fell there. I love that they provided us with a blanket and a pillow, which is really important for me because I planned on taking a few naps. There's my dad, he wanted to say hi. Hi daddy. <laughs> So one thing I will say is that they definitely fed us a little early. This flight was at, I wanna say it was at like 10 a.m. <laughs> and look what I was eating. First we were served peanuts and you guys, I'm not a peanut girly, but these were actually very tasty. So that was like a nice little appetizer to get my palate ready to receive the yummy meal that I was about to partake. Then I ordered some coffee because like I said, it was really early in the morning. And although I did want to relax and take a few naps, which you will see that I did, this flight was rather expensive. I'll share just how expensive at the end of the video. So I wanted to make sure I was awake to experience everything. Like if you spend upwards of <clears throat> four to $5,000 on a flight, I think you should be able to enjoy your experience. So that's why I needed coffee. Whew, then it was time for my meal. So I picked a short rib from Fox Brothers Barbecue in Atlanta, which is one of my favorite barbecue restaurants. And you guys, I have never enjoyed the food in flight, whether I was in economy or first class domestic, like a short haul flight. This meal was absolutely delicious. The shrimp was perfect, like, whew, my mouth is salivating just thinking about it, you guys. The food was amazing, and if you watch my regular content, you know that your girl is picky. So the food on board, Delta One gets an A+. It's Keiko Beauty approved for sure. And I did decide that I was never gonna ride in main cabin again. Now, I'm not sure who's gonna be um, buying my tickets, but <laughs> I would love to make that happen. Oh, y'all, when I tell you the food was so delicious, like, wow. <laughs> So then after I ate, I relaxed. I tried to get onto the onboard Wi-Fi, but you had to pay for it. And my thing was, I don't think we should have had to pay an additional fee for Wi-Fi. So yeah, I wasn't able to use Wi-Fi, but that was okay. So at this point, they passed out dessert. I decided to watch another holiday movie, Last Holiday. Love that movie, by the way. So here I am trying the chocolate cake. I'm not really a chocolate cake girly, but surprise, surprise, it was amazing. <laughs> All the food on board was amazing. So I decided to settle in and take my first nap. Now, this is where I just really have to commend Delta One. As a plus size woman, I have never been able to sleep comfortably on an airplane. It was so amazing being able to sleep even in this reclined position and actually have a comfortable nap. So just for that alone, <laughs> the comfortability of the seat was perfection. Then I decided to lay all the way down. These are lay flat seats, which I did enjoy. I believe the seat was like mattress quality. Just the entire experience from start to finish. Super, super comfortable, you guys. Me enjoying the lie flat bed, getting comfortable, and you guys, I actually fell asleep. So even though I had my wine, I think I got a refresher here, I fell asleep and when I woke up, the wine was gone, which is totally fine because I was so tired. 
this trip is 10 hours. So being able to lay back and enjoy a movie and just get comfortable, priceless. Okay, by this point, it's probably like hour four or five. And now I decided to watch The Best Man. Believe it or not, I have never seen this movie. <laughs> I know, I know. Don't try to take my black card, okay? I, you know, I just haven't seen it. I love Best Man Holiday, but you know, give me some slack. But I actually fell asleep. <laughs> So then when I woke up, I decided to listen to a little bit of rap music and get some editing done. Currently at the time, it was Vlogmas, so I wanted to make sure that I could edit a video. Once again, being able to comfortably work on an airplane because I had this little cocoon, if you will, was just so important to me. And I wouldn't have had that comfortable experience in any other seat class. Now it's time for some skincare. Now, as a beauty girly influencer, of course, I had to do some skincare because the air up there gets so very dry. So I started off with my Osea Sea Minerals Mist just for a burst of hydration. I love this mist so much. Then I decided to use my Charlotte Tilbury Magic Water Cream, which is a lighter gel texture formula, but it's still really nice and makes your skin glow. Look at all the hydration, we love that. Then I decided to finish it off once again with that Osea Mist because we love a good hydration misting experience. Don't forget those lips. Like I said, the air was so dry. So what, this is probably my fifth movie by this point, and I don't even know what this movie was called. If I can figure it out, I'll annotate it on the screen. But this was after my second nap, after my first full meal. I was feeling a little revived, but as you can see, I was still a little sleepy. So now it was time for a snack. No one else in my entire party, in my family, was getting all these snacks. And I know it might look like all I did was eat and sleep. When you pay this much money and you really want to experience something, you're gonna partake. So that's what I did, I partook. These cookies. Ha, <laughs> amazing. And I also decided to make a vodka and cranberry. We love a little libation. Cheers. Y'all, the snacks on board were so good. I really appreciate that they had a large selection to choose from. And they did also have fresh fruit available as well. But I knew I'd be getting a lot of that when I landed in Honolulu. So I'm just topping off my bevy here and watching more of the movie. Y'all, if you didn't know, I love watching movies. So being able to have this experience in flight and be comfortable and have my own little cocoon and not feel like anyone's too close to me because I'm a germaphobe. Thoroughly, thoroughly enjoying my onboard experience. As you can see. <laughs> So by this time, uh, we were getting our last snack and I wanna say it was the next morning at this point, or maybe Honolulu time, I'm not sure, but they told me I was getting cheese pizza. <laughs> we had a choice between like a poke bowl, which I've never had to this day, but you guys know that I love pizza, so obviously I had to have pizza. And I was telling my dad that I never wanted to be in Maine cabin again, but obviously it's a joke. So here was my lovely cheese pizza, you guys. For this to be a pizza that was probably heated up in the microwave, it was actually very tasty. I had it with an arugula salad, and that was also delicious as well. I'm telling you guys, the food on board was so good. Now, I've flown in the class right below this, which is like Delta Premium something. The food is horrible. Well, I won't say horrible, but it's not as great as this, which is unfortunate because I think 
even the basic cost of airfare for this flight was like $1,900 or $1,400. Like you could give people a smaller portion and less frequency of meals, but everybody should be able to enjoy delicious meals. But that's just me and I'm a foodie. More turbulence in flight. I had to <laughs> catch that wine and catch you guys. I didn't want you guys to fall for the second time. Like I said, the cookies were so good, I decided to take two with me because I knew that I would get hungry at some point during my trip and they did come in handy. So by this time, it was time to fill out the agriculture form for my entire family. And surprise, surprise, they passed out this beautiful little cookie sandwich thing and they topped off my wine. Like, let me tell you, the entire experience, they really know how to treat you and it's just so sad that you have to pay so much money. But like I said, I really didn't know <laughs> what flavor the cookie was. It was kind of like an almondy fruit based cookie, but it was so delicious. I really enjoyed it. This trip was all about trying new things and it definitely started with my onboard experience. Like, look at me. I'm just having the time of my life. Don't forget to reapply that hydration. Cheers. <sighs> Thank you guys. So we were making our descent into Honolulu, beautiful Oahu, the island of Oahu, you guys. Like, look at the view. I mean, yes, my in-flight experience was amazing and I was treated like a princess, but this view is just everything. And I just want this to be a reminder that you don't have to pay upwards of five to $10,000 for a flight to truly enjoy yourself. It's really not about that. And not everyone is going to care. I'm a plus size princess, so you know, I like to be comfortable, but this really is what it's all about. New experiences, just being able to experience God's glory in a new place. Uh, it's really, truly just so picturesque. So overall, I would say that the Delta One in-flight experience was totally worth it. Now I do think this flight was between five and $6,000 per person. So it was very hefty, not to mention that Hawaii is just expensive in general. So yeah, the trip was very pricey, but honestly, I would fly Delta One again. I think if I'm gonna be taking any flight over probably six hours, I will just, yeah, bite the bullet. Because especially for me as a plus size woman, I need to be comfortable on a long haul flight. So I will say if comfort matters to you, if luxuries matter to you, then go all out. But you definitely don't have to spend a fortune to enjoy yourself. It's not really about the time getting there. It's really about when you arrive and what you make of your time there. So. I hope this video was helpful. I would highly recommend Delta One, uh, especially for long haul flights and international travel. So no, it may not be worth it to everybody, but to me, highly, highly recommend. It's Keiko Beauty approved. <laughs>